Today I would like to paint to you another picture, a picture of low income living. You know, a lot of times people will say if you have a low income living, you have a poor quality of life. I like to turn the tables and change the perspective of all that because so many times people think that money is what makes you happy. Oh, it is no secret that having income that's higher and having money can help with a lot of issues in your life. But I found the opposite to be true when it comes to happiness. Now let me share with you a little bit that I did come from a six-figure income. I knew what it was like to have money. And at times I was happy. But the more money I had, the more money I wanted. Now I know that's not the case for everyone, but I want to share with you a little bit of my thoughts on low income living and the quality of life. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is a harder life, but yet it is easier. The less you have, the less responsibility you have, and it gives you purpose. So let me share with you how. When you have money to buy everything you need, your life is easier. You don't have to rely on your own wit and you don't have to rely on your own skills. You need d dish soap, you just go buy it. But if you don't have the money to buy it, then you learn to make it. And when you learn to make it, then you have such a feeling of accomplishment. I guess that's the only word I can say. It's such a feeling of accomplishment that you actually made something with your own hands. Now you can take that times a hundred things every day. Instead of buying something in the store, figure out how you can use something else. You really start to have an imagination. And that's one thing I really learned. When I didn't have the high income, the lower income meant less money, but my imagination just grew. I learned how to do so many things that you didn't need so much money to buy. Okay, so I know some people like to learn by seeing things, so I'm going to show you a case in point. I've had some olive oil that was going a little bit rancid, and I thought, what can I do with this? So I decided to make homemade candles. I took some flowers that were in the garden that I dehydrated. There were lavender flowers, some rancid oil. Now the oil didn't have any smell. It just, I could tell it was a little bit bitter, maybe a little bit off. I added a little bit of beeswax, some Dollar Tree essential oil, and I made a whole bunch of candles with it. Now, this is a case in point. If I had all the money in the world, I could have just went and bought a candle. But then again, I wouldn't have been thinking outside the box. And a lot of times people will say your quality of life is lower when you have a low income. Now that may be true in some cases. But for me, I found that my quality of life grew by leaps and bounds because the purpose of living. Okay, if you think making candles isn't much of a purpose in living, times that by 100. And then you start seeing all of the things that you can do in a day that didn't cost you hardly any money or no money at all, then your purpose starts to grow. Taking the rain barrel, you know, I'm checking here to see the level of the rain in my rain barrel. And these are things that are just so satisfying to me. Growing greens in the wintertime, sure, I could hop in the car and buy my own greens, but then you don't have that sense of pride, the pride in growing something yourself. The seeds to this, I think I got at the Dollar Tree for 25 cents, and I am picking all of this spinach all winter long. And that was something that money really couldn't buy. Okay, it was a quarter, but you know what I mean. I also learned to think outside the box. And 90% of everything you see in my home was given to me. No, not by YouTube subscribers. This was even before I had a YouTube channel. I would go once a week and look along the curb and find free things. I still do that today. Even going to the dumpster and finding things from the dumpster. It's all of these things that are thinking outside the box. I take them home, clean them up, and I love them just like they were new. In fact, I even enjoy things more than if I would buy them. On the most part, not everything, of course. Of course you enjoy having things, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's when you 
fix something up or you make something and make it new again, you enjoy it. I think another thing with the lower income, I'm not out in the rat race, so I'm not so busy that I don't even enjoy my home. How many Americans are working themselves to, to the bone in order to have nice things, but they're not even home to enjoy those things? I love being home, and if that means having a lower income, then you know what? That's just fine with me. One thing I'm always reminded is my father-in-law, he was a workaholic when he was younger. And towards the end of his death, you know, he would say, I can't believe I got so old so quick. You know, at the end of your life, you're not thinking about, oh, I wish I had another new car, or I wish I had a boat, or I wish I had a vacation home. When you're older and you're at your last years of life, you're going to reminisce about the little things in life. And if we could learn that now while we're younger, how much more precious our life can be than if we wait until life is almost over. Another thing I've noticed that if you're on a lower income, most times you don't waste as much. Like for me, you know, I don't waste anything that's glass. I reuse it over and over again. So if you're lower income, you're not using as much and you're using what you have. And so you're so much better on the environment too. That's another thing I'm learning. I think those are people who laughed at me when we went and sold everything that we owned and had less. I don't know if they're laughing right now because, you know, we're living in a world where the gap between people that are rich and people that are poor is becoming less and less. I think that there's less rich people in the world and I think everybody is starting to pinch their pennies. And if you want to call me an advocate for those that are low income or a spokesperson, I would love to be one because I think that we need to change your attitude. I think that people, especially in the United States, needs to change their thoughts on what really low income is like. And it's a wonderful life. It's a life that is full of a lot of blessings. And it's a fuller life too. I really believe so because I live it. I do recognize sometimes there is a fine line between poverty living and low income living. And when you don't have enough and you do go to bed hungry and you don't have electricity to heat your house, there is a fine line. But I think that going from six figure income to lower income, it just changed my perspective on what do we really need in life? Seriously, what do we need? What is a need and what is a want? And I realized that there's so little we actually need and there's always so much we always seem to want and I'm realizing that I don't need so much and I don't want quite as much either. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So my question to you is in the comments below, let me know what lessons have you learned in living a lower income? Do you feel like me or do you think the opposite? Do you think your life has become worse if you have a lower income? I'd like to hear a little bit of your conversation with my video today.